Hello everyone, this is Tom from Dig with the Music Store in Utrecht, the Netherlands. Today we are going to be taking a look at a guitar that is a little bit unusual for us to have in the shop, but it is super cool nonetheless. This is a Takamine TH90 Hirade classical electroacoustic guitar. Got this big preamp installed here at the top of the body that you can plug in over here. And this is really a top of the line Takamine Japanese built classical guitar and it sure looks like it and it even smells like it because it smells really good it smells like lacquer and um, yeah this is a really interesting and very cool and particularly beautiful sounding classical acoustic guitar very cool to have in the shop and to show to you guys so let's dive into the specs so we have got a solid body construction so solid spruce top which is Sitka spruce and that solid rosewood back and sides it's a really beautiful high gloss lacquered finish. You also got a rather unusual sound hole, kind of an oval shape or kind of pill shaped almost with a really beautiful classical style rosette. As for the binding, that is also kind of similar to the rosette. Also got that kind of zigzag pattern going on as well as on the sides. We see that really cool, beautiful looking high-end looking yellow binding and then on the back we got that same kind of zigzagging style as for the binding and as for the back strip going on it looks super classy and definitely like that this is a very high quality and well-built instrument um, we've got the rosewood bridge with a bone saddle and then We've got this preamp over here going on. This is the Takamine CTP3 cool tube preamplifier, and it is quite versatile. We have got a three band EQ. So we have got your low frequencies that you can uh, increase or reduce, as well as the mid frequencies, as well as the high frequencies. You also got a built in tuner, and we have got an aux PU, I'm guessing aux pickup. Um, got a pitch control or pitch button. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I have not tried this out because we don't really have the proper equipment for that to do so. But this is definitely has this definitely has a lot of bells and whistles. We've got a cool tube knob over here that you can then turn up, and we have got mid frequency switch. No, that is just a knob. That then goes from 250 to 500 to 1K, 3K, and then 5K. And we have got a, looks like a boost of some sort, like a volume boost, because it says minus 6 dB and then minus 12 dB. So I'm guessing that that then um, reduces your volume a bit. And we have got a um, notch knob <laughs> that also goes from 0 to 100 to 250. 1k and then 5k again really unfamiliar with this territory and you got a standby switch which i'm guessing does exactly that that it then kills your signal in between songs or whatnot but super duper versatile and you then plug it in over here at the end pin I've got a mahogany neck with this is the this is the perfect example for a d profile because it feels exactly like a D looks, you know, the big D uh, that goes like so. That is what this feels like. Definitely a very unique feeling neck. And this is a classical guitar. So you've got the two inch width at the nut. So it is very wide, then flat on the back because of that D profile. For a classical player, this must be really nice to play. But for me as a non-classical player, it feels kind of unusual, but it plays really well nonetheless. Um, the fingerboard is made out of ebony and we've also got this like extension over here for the unwound strings so that you can reach those extra two notes for each of those strings. Got a bone nut and we've got this super fancy gold classical tuners with Perloid tips. Got also a really cool looking headstock overlay made out of rosewood and then, like I mentioned, mahogany neck. We've got no markers or like inlays going on on the fingerboard, so that is a very clean and fancy look. And we also don't have markers on the side of the fingerboard, which 
takes a little bit of getting used to and also obviously got a cutaway so that you can reach those higher frets a little bit more easily and it also comes with a really cool uh, like a soft shell case um, also made by Takamine it's kind of like in between a hard case and like a soft case so that you can still wear it on your back but then like on the inside it is more so like a hard shell case because the walls are like very sturdy underneath the padding of course um, so it is a very well protective case for this very fine instruments so yeah all in all a very unique to this store um, and very beautiful classical guitar that uh, that just sounds really really beautiful many thanks to that all solid wood construction it sounds incredibly warm and um, yeah just really like a proper classical guitar should sound like so let's get to that part but first if you're interested in this real beautiful Takamine TH90 Hirade be sure to head over to the links in the description for further details if you enjoyed this demo be sure to like the video and to subscribe to the channel for more cool weekly demos of really cool guitars like these not so much like these because we don't get a whole lot of nylon in the shop but nonetheless every now and then of these or cool uh, like steel string guitars electric guitars bass guitars amplifiers even all of that really cool stuff also be sure to like us and to follow us on our socials instagram and facebook links are also in the description with all that being said let's hear what is really beautiful takamine th90 hirade sounds like going to be playing um i'm not entirely sure what i'm going to play i think i'm going to play some king crimson and um maybe something else that is kind of like proggy because those guys kind of play classical right i will be sure to play something very well suited for this beautiful classical guitar so let's get to that part and take this beautiful spin <laughs>